welcome to Weeby Farming. My name is Ryan Weeby, and uh, this is our farm out here. It's um, four acres. It's all done on plastic culture with drip, and uh, we got it broken up in about one acre sections. This right here is a vining uh, winter squash. We got four varieties here. We got buttercup, green, kabocha, orange kabocha. Delicata, and over there we got a big long one acre strip of uh, green acorn and then a uh, carnival sweet dumpling. Here we got an acre of uh, green cabbage, a couple thousand kale plants planted right over there, and then over here another acre of cabbage and uh, some basil planted beyond that, and uh, certified organic. Uh, been certified organic for six years and um, you know you just gotta stick you using the approved material and approved fertilizers and approved sprays that are all natural and um, this is what we do. Now um, the organic certification um, how does that work? Um, like if you wanted to get or, uh, organic do, certified there's a plan it's like a I don't know 30 40 page plan and you um, it's basically you got to project for the future what you are going to plant how you're going to grow it where you're going to get your seeds what you're going to use to spray fertilize how you're going to handle it how you're going to wash it how you're going to the whole thing transport it label it and um you tell them beforehand, and if it all works out, you know, you follow like the guidelines. Uh, you submit the plan, you pay for an inspector to come out, they inspect, they submit their report, and then they approve you. It's pretty simple, and then, um, uh, you know, you got to lay out your field, tell you how much you're going to plant, what you're going to yield, um, and then um, they'll pass you. And since I've been certified here, the state reimburses you up to. 80% of your costs that you would pay to get certified. So basically it costs me at the end of the year after I get my refund check I only pay like $150 to be certified organic. Wow. Alright, so here's the new uh, little vineyard out at Weeby Farming 2013. Uh, we got three varieties here. We got um, Baco Noir, Chancellor and Chelios. Um, tried three different kinds just to see what grows well here. These do pretty well in this area and they blend well together to make your own wine. Um, we kind of mounted up some beds to put them on, keep them raised up a little bit, kind of shed the water because we are growing in fat, flat land here. Uh, we, you know, they prefer hillside, but we can't do that right now, so we're doing flat. But um. Uh, we put these in, uh, I kind of forget the spacing, I think they're about six feet apart and about six feet width. Uh, we got this landscape fabric down, we left the little strip in the middle where the plant is there, and we got um, the mulch down. So the water can come in as needed, but we'll have to hand weed that. Uh, we put some bamboo here on each plant, tied it to the top wire, and uh, so that will get the growth to go up. We only have a couple that have made it up so far, like this one is actually uh, curled right around the top wire. So that's what you want to achieve the first year um, is you want these to make the, the top wire and it doesn't look like that we are on most of these this, this season but um, hopefully next season they'll make it up. This, this is just the first year they've only been out here like what two months maybe so they look pretty good for me and uh, we got locust posts in and we got the, these end uh, things which are pretty important. We've got this tight wire. It's like a guitar string. Um, we put these posts in and then pulled it hand tight and then we loop the wire around it in that groove I made in the top of the T-post and then we hammered it in with, the, with a sledgehammer and then that we did it on both ends and that pulled the wire tighter and tighter and tighter until it's just how you need it. 
And uh, hopefully, you know, next year we might get some grapes, uh, two, three years, getting full production and um, be making our homemade wine.